In this lecture, we look at thermal expansion. Most materials expand when energy is added. For example, as we heat up this block, the flames cause it to expand. However, the transition from ice to water is an important exception. When ice warms up and becomes water, its volume decreases, so it actually contracts. And this is important because if, the, if this weren't true, we'd be, we'd be living on an icy ball rather than a watery world. Linear expansion means that the ratios are preserved, so that when you see this block expanding, the square biggest remains a square and the oval hole in it remains oval in shape. Mathematically, the change in length is given by the length times a coefficient alpha times a change in temperature. What I mean is that as it expands, L becomes L plus delta L. Alpha is the coefficient of linear expansion, and it's given in terms of 1 over the degree C. Here we have a table of a few common substances, aluminum, steel, and glass. And we see that aluminum expands uh, more easily than, say, than steel or glass, or particularly than diamond. The, the ratio of change is, in this case, or the uh, coefficient of change is 10 to the minus 6 per degree C. Let's say, as an example, let's say you build an aluminum window frame at 20 degrees C. The glass is 1 meter in length, and the inside of the frame is one, 1 meter plus 1 millimeter. If it goes down to minus 20 degrees C, will the frame contract so much that the glass cracks? Well, what is the change in length of the glass? That's 1 meter times the coefficient of a linear expansion for glass, which is 9, times minus 40 degrees C. So that's 9 times minus 40 times 10 to the minus 6, or in other words, minus 0 0.0036 meters, or about minus a third of a millimeter. If we look at the change of the aluminum frame, it goes from one meter plus a millimeter times its coefficient uh, alpha sub al aluminum, which is larger, 23 times 10 to the minus 6, times minus 40 the same change in temperature. And that, and that uh, drops down to minus 0 0.00092 meters. So we find out that the, it does not crack so because it, there's still 0.4 millimeters left between the glass and the aluminum frame. If you went down to minus 40 degrees C, at that point the glass and the aluminum frame are exactly the same size and you, you have a problem that it may crack. And that would be a bad thing at minus 40 degrees C.